I'm the knight. And I'm the two. And this is the man who had a penis transplant. For obvious reasons, we won't be given the name of the man who had this done, but the first successful penis transplant was performed in September 2006 at a military hospital in Gangzhou, China. The patient, a 44-year-old male, had sustained the loss of most of his penis in an accident. The incident left the man with a one-centimeter-long stump with which he was unable to urinate or have sexual intercourse with. The surgeon who performed the surgery was Dr. Willie Hu, and I must say, I don't actually know how to pronounce the doctor's name or the hospital, so forgive me if I've gotten it wrong. The doctor said he did the operation because the patient's quality of life was affected severely. Well, duh. The transplanted penis came from a brain-dead 22-year-old male. Wait a second, you mean they just took someone else's penis? What if he woke up? Actually, if people are brain-dead, then they're only kept alive using machinery to work their heart and lungs. And that's only done so the doctors can take their organs for transplant. Most transplants actually come from brain-dead men and women. And, if the doctors can't take the organs because they either weren't an organ donor, or the next of kin wouldn't agree to the transplant, then they just turn off the machines and let them die. So, he couldn't have woke up. And in this case, the 22-year-old donor's parents agreed for the doctor to transplant his penis. Whoa, 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 wait a second. His parents agreed for the son's penis to be chopped off and then stuck on a man twice his age. Yeah. Christ, I thought my parents were shit. The doctor spent 15 hours attaching a 10 centimeter penis to the 44-year-old patient. 10 centimeters? Jesus, what was the point of even doing it? I know, right? The procedure represents a big leap forward in transplant surgery, as it required complex microsurgery to connect nerves and tiny blood vessels. The surgical team claims the operation was a success, and after 10 days, tests revealed that the organ had a rich blood supply and the man was able to urinate normally. But although the operation was a surgical success, surgeons said they had to remove the penis 15 days after the surgery because of a severe psychological problem of the recipient and his wife. The transplanted penis regrettably had to be cut off. Though an examination of the organ showed no signs of being rejected by the body. What were the psychological problems? No one knows for sure because of doctor-patient confidentiality, but I guess it was just a bit weird, and technically she would be cheating on him every time they had sex. Actually, yeah, that would be odd. I mean, like, every time he goes to the bathroom, he's holding another man's penis, and every time he, you know, takes care of himself, he's... I think it's best if we stop there and leave it. Yeah, yeah, true. Let the viewers decide if that makes him gay. <laughs> it's also worth noting that the transplanted penis can come from a human donor, or they can be grown artificially, though as of yet, no artificially grown penises have been transplanted onto a human. Though in 2006, researchers succeeded in replacing a rabbit's penis with one grown in a laboratory. The penis was grown on a matrix from the rabbit's own cells and contained nerves and blood vessels, allowing it to become fully functional. And that's all we have about the man who had a penis transplant. For more information and links, check out the video description. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe, like, and comment.